Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Himanshu from Salesforce Makes Sense and in this video we'll just quickly wrap up that remaining two database methods or rather the DML statements. First one is delete and the second one is undelete. Okay, just how you can insert records into the system. You can read them using queries. You can update or modify them by the update command. You can also delete them, right? Because if you could not delete data, there would be a lot of data in the world, right? So we'll take a look at the delete statement now. Let's go into our understanding database operations class and we'll create a new method here, right? So I'll just say public static void handle opportunity deletion. Okay. Now I would like to consider that the method will be passed a parameter and that parameter would be the stage, right? So whatever stage name is passed, we'll query the system to find the list of opportunities and if we if we find the list of opportunities we'll simply delete them okay so for us to be able to delete records we need to query the records first all right before jumping into the code let's quickly write the query on the query editor we want to query opportunities right so i'll say id command stage name from opportunity okay so if I execute this, we have about 17 opportunities and let's pick any random stage here. So let's say value proposition needs analysis. Let's pick needs analysis. Okay. Let's quickly check how many records are with this particular stage, right? Let's say execute. So there's only one. So let's not choose this one. What about, what about another stage i want to delete multiple records in a single transaction what about value proposition okay so let's go ahead and type this out where stage equals and the api name for the stage field is stage name okay you can take a look at that in the object manager so if i say opportunity where stage name equal to value proposition you have three opportunities all right so what i want to do is i want to basically let my method run the same query so let's write that query select id so when you are deleting right you don't need any other field you just need the id to be queried so i'll say id from opportunity where stage name equals the stage name that i have received from the method parameter which is this variable okay and i'll just assign this to what i'll assign it to a list of opportunities correct Now, what is that state? What is that DML statement and the corresponding database method? You can either use database.delete and you can pass the op list to delete. You can do that or you can simply use the delete command and you can just pass the list. Either way works. Okay, let's try to do it by the database command. Let's comment out the plain DML statement. Let's try to say save. So this is saved up fine and what is a safe thing to do? The safe thing to do would be check the list size, right? So we will be able to save one DML statement if the list is empty. So I'll say if size is greater than zero, only then go ahead and go ahead and execute the database command or else don't as simple as that. All right, all good. What is the record showing here? It is showing three. Let me refresh my grid. Three records are there. Let's go ahead and execute this particular code from anonymous window. Let's copy the method and let's say I want to pass it a string which is value proposition. Hopefully the spelling is fine. Let's say execute. So the execution ran fine and if I take a look at this particular query now and I refresh all the three records are vanished. They are deleted from your system. Right? So this is how you can delete records from your system. All right, very straightforward, nothing complex, nothing major, very simple for those of you who know these basic commands, but yeah, important for the curriculum to proceed further. Now, the remaining part is undeleting records. What if you made a mistake and you did not want to delete those three opportunities, right? So is there a way to get those guys back? Yes. So in life, you do not get something called undelete, right? That's not available in life. When you make mistakes, you have made mistakes. You cannot come out of it or you cannot undo it, right? Because you are, you cannot go back in the past. But here you have something called the recycle bin that, that 
the software right any software provides you a recycle bin and that's the same thing that you have here in salesforce where these records are temporarily stored okay and if you think that you have made a mistake or you need to recover any kind of data you get some time and you basically can query them out okay so how do you do that let's quickly create one more method i'll call it handle opportunity undeletion okay or let's call it recover opportunities recover lost opportunities so i just want to fetch all the opportunities that i have recently deleted okay to do that we basically need to run the same query so let's let's do this we won't execute it from here rather let's execute it from the anonymous window yeah so if i just go ahead and say system.debug and i put a sockle query here i'll say select id comma stage name from opportunity all rows right let's just say all rows i'll just quickly check if it compiles fine or not and i'll say execute and open log so it ran fine in the anonymous window and if i take a look at the debug statement it is showing me a list of opportunities under all rows right now quickly let's also take in the is deleted flag okay and if i were to just say where is deleted equals true let's see if this executes fine it executes fine on the anonymous window there was some issue with the query editor so if i take a look at the debug only statement you will notice this these are the list of all the opportunities that have been deleted and are currently sitting on the recycle bin what the, how do you know that first of all you have checked using this internal field that's available on every object is deleted okay so is deleted will be true what does that mean that means that the record is currently sitting in the recycle bin it's not sitting in your actual database it's not where you you normally see your records you will not see in your regular list views you will only see it in the recycle bin right similar to how our computers and laptops and desktops have recycle bin same concept okay so it is sitting there for probably 30 days or some time there's some session to it and then how do you actually access things which are in the recycle bin by putting this magical keyword which is all space rows what does that do that takes a look at your entire database currently in the system plus currently thrown out of the system still in the system okay so your records stay in the recycle bin for a period of time and until they are there in the for the period of time you can actually use the all rows keyword in your sockel query and you can fetch them in case it's needed right so with that understanding we are going to use the same query bring back our three records who were dead okay so if i were to go to my code again what i'll do i'll say list opportunity ops to recover and i'll put my query here now this query is going to bring in all opportunities but we don't want that we just want to fetch whatever was deleted today right so i can just put one more flag here i'll say where last maybe last modified date would be today let's quickly see i don't know yeah let's quickly check so if last modified date is equal to today and is deleted equals true give me all the rows okay once i have all the records instead of undeleting it all together let's first debug and see if it if the query is returning any records or not save okay does this save fine this saves fine so i'll just go ahead and say execute anonymous and i'll just take this method and call it by using the class name i believe we should get three opportunities i'll say execute the log has just opened let's take a look at the debug only statement and you see that value proposition value proposition and then one more value proposition three records are showing because they have been last modified today and that's basically the set of three records that we actually deleted today or rather modified right so once i have this list what do i do first of all i put a check if the size is greater than 0 that's the first check i put and then i use the magical command undelete ops to recover and say save this is your undelete command 
can you use the database dot run delete yes same thing you can use the database method no problem all right let's quickly test it out and before testing it out what i'll do is i'll simply query in our system right now how many records are there with the stage value proposition currently there will be none correct because we deleted all the three so let's quickly check value proposition execute so this is your plain database but if you put the all rows keyword here in that in that case you'll be able to see the entire database all right including the recycle bin so what is your current query showing zero now let's go ahead and undelete the records again this is not available in real life this is just in software the undelete command yeah okay so i'll just go ahead and call it out and let's say execute executed fine the log has opened i don't want to see anything on the log except for you see number of dml rows is three number of rows queried is three one socal query is done and one database or dml statement has been executed so looks like what we wanted to do has been achieved i'll simply click on refresh grid and you see the three records have come back to you in your system from the recycle bin and have been undeleted okay when is this fruitful this is fruitful when you actually accidentally or maybe some customer or a business user accidentally deleted a record unknowingly or using the delete button and they come back to us asking can i get that record it was very important or maybe during a data migration you were merging some records and one record got deleted or discarded and you did not want to do that so it's better to take a look at the all rows query and then undelete them on the recycle bin you'll see that you have two things your own recycle bin and the org recycle bin what is your recycle bin things that you have deleted and the org recycle bin shows everything that has been deleted and it is sitting here in the for the past, for the last uh, few days okay so that was your undelete command so we are good with insert update delete undelete upsert and that's pretty much your entire database operation that you will ever do in your life because that's all that database supports nothing more than that nothing less than that just these four or five commands it's just that the collection changes the kind of collection changes meaning the kind of s object that you are trying to modify changes that's it okay so i hope you are good with the database operations one more thing we'll be discussing after this is basically how do you understand what records have been processed what was the error that came up and can i get a list of success records so we'll talk about that save result class or rather the database dot save result methods in the next video all right till then see you bye